Hello guys, let's talk today about how you can have your wide cameras work on a MacBook. As you can see, I have three wide cameras, the version 2, version 3, and the wide pen. They're working here with my MacBook Pro. So, as you can see back there, it's working. The first one, the second one, the third one, working pretty fine. I can also enable here full mode, full screen, so you can see that's still working there. And I also have more cameras working there. But let me just put this back here so I can show the details and explain how it works because I need my cell phone here to explain the basics on how I make it work, right? So let me just bring my cell phone here. And the first thing that I need to understand is that I'm using the RTSP protocol to make those cameras work here with my MacBook Pro, okay? So here on my WISE app, if I come here to one of the camera, let's say the version 3 here, and when I go to settings, in advanced settings, I see this menu here for the RTSP protocol. At first, you don't have this menu for the cameras, unless you install the firmware with the RTSP protocol for the cameras. So I have another video here in the channel that explains how you can install the RTSP protocol or the RTSP firmware for each one of the cameras, right? So if you click here, you see the information about the RTSP URL, which has the camera's IP. Let me just approach here so you can see better. There you go. So you have basically the RTSP protocol here, username and, and password that I'm using here to connect to the camera. And that's the information that I need to use back there in the software. So when I install when I install the RTSP protocol, I can just create the username and password here. Okay, just watch the other video if you need more details on that. Right. So that part's done. So now I assume that you have your camera with the RTSP protocol. So let's talk about the software. So basically, you have four cameras here. One of them is not Wise. This is the high vision camera. And the other three are Wise cameras. And here I have working on my MacBook Pro. So basically here's full screen. And when I close here, I can see on this mode. So I can also change to this mode that I have just this window that I can move whatever I want. Okay, so it works pretty fine. It's pretty interesting. And I'm talking about this software here. Let me just show uh, here on the Apple Store that I'm using this software. This is the IP camera viewer, okay? It's a paid software. You paid, uh, you pay, if I'm not mistaken, $29 per year. Okay, I'm just testing the software right now, but you can pay if you want to, right? So basically here connects and sync with all your devices. So you can use with your MacBook Pro and also you can use your with your iPhone and also Apple Watch, okay? So it has a lot of features here works with multiple windows, it has beautiful dark mode, immersive full screen view, and all the things here that you need to work with your cameras. And important here to see is that I work with OnVIF cameras, RTSP, and M MJPEG cameras. So OnVIF cameras are cameras that are using the universal protocol. OnVIF is a protocol for universal secured cameras, right? So RTSP, that's the one I'm using right now, and a MJPEG, okay? So back here to the software, let me just close here. So you see the main configuration part. And here I have the cameras, so high vision cameras, uh, wise camera, wise and wise, three cameras here, and the dashboard where I can control my cameras. Back here to the dashboard, I can just create new ones. So let's say, for example, I want to create a new one. I just click here and I select the cameras that I want. Just wise cameras if I want to. Then I name here, let's say cameras. Hit save. And now I have a new dashboard with three cameras only. Okay. Of course, here I can change the spectral radio because here I don't want the camera to be stretched like this. Okay, but I can change it as well. Back here to the dashboard so I can have 
different cameras on different dashboards. And it works pretty fine. When I select one of them, I click here to go to full screen. I close it and I click this other one so I can have that way, which I can do this, right? Select the size that I want. And if I want to put like this on this side, for example, I have that way. So I can, let's say, for example, work on the right side and have my cameras there on the left side, which is pretty good. So you can have all your camera working like this, which I think is pretty interesting. And I'm good to go. Okay, so let me show how it works basically when I need to add the camera. Coming back here to the main part. So you just install your software from Apple Store. It's pretty easy to install like any software when you install your MacBook Pro. And here, let me just remove this camera. Let's say the wide camera version 3 here. I'll click here and edit the camera. And down here, can delete it. There we go. Now I have just two wide cameras and I want to add a new one. So I just click here to add a new camera. Click add camera. And now I need to know the camera's IP. So I just type here. 192.168.0.119. That's the camera's IP. I know that because remember, I have the information from the app, right? Here, the username, add me, and the password. I'm just using one here for a test. And here, you need to select the brand. So we have different brands. So you need to look for Wise. Down here, you find a Wise camera. Here you go. Okay. And when you select Wise, you see this message that to use your Wise cam, you need to have their TSP, which is the protocol that makes uh, the software co communicate with the camera, right? So I have the RTSP working there. I just click here, continue. And it's connecting to the camera. I have this green check mark. And this one, you don't need to worry about because it's just trying to show a snapshot. It says connect connection failed, but it's working, right? So I just hit save here and I'm good to go. Now I have the camera. And I click here and I see the live image. So basically working here. That's the one, the wise camera version three. And here I have options to select different streaming. I just have one stream for this camera. And I have the stream information here. So using RTSP, here's the IP of the camera, the resolution, frame rate, and everything else. Okay, so here I have more th things that I can edit the camera, for example, here. I can change the icon instead of using this regular one. Let's say I have the camera in a different location. I can select here, stairs. Then I have different icon for the camera. I can also change the camera's name and things like that. Save it here. Just wait for it to save and I'm good to go. Sometimes when I'm saving, I just realize that it shows here like connection failed or something like this, but it's still working, okay? I don't know if something to bug with the software, but it's still working. Now I have here just three cameras because I just removed one of them. So if I come here back to the dashboard, I have three cameras. Then I need to add it here and uh, add a new camera, okay? So basically that's the way it works. Let me just come to the dashboard and here I can edit. And as you can see here, I have three cameras and I can add a new one. And here I select the camera. So I have here to choose the new one. That's the one. Okay. And I don't see a save button here. So I'll just close and see how it goes. So it's working. Okay. So I have the four cameras back working here. Okay, so it works pretty fine. So guys, basically that's the way you can have your cameras working here on MacBook Pro. So just enable RTSP or install the RTSP firmware here on the camera 
and you can enable, go to your store, download the software and make it work like this, right? So I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe to this channel, give your thumbs up and your comments, and I see you in the next one.